Here's how to register a song with ASCAP. Let's dive in. The first step is to register yourself as a writer and publisher, which costs $100 in total or $50 per application. Once you log into your ASCAP account, click on works and register a new work. For the work title, make sure to only include the song name and don't include featured artists or your artist name. For writers and publishers, enter in your writer IPI, select a role and share percentage. Enter in your publisher IPI, territory, most likely to be the world and share percentage. The writer's share and publisher's share should each add up to 50% respectively. If, for example, there's two writers with a 50-50 split, writer 1 and writer 2 would each earn 25%, and their publishing entities would each earn 25% respectively. If you have a song equally split between three writers, it's best to give one writer 34% and the other two writers 33%. You will need to add each writer and each publisher individually. If you are registering a song with a BMI writer that is self-published, click This Writer Has No Publisher for this work. This will be replaced with Publisher Unknown once the song is available on Songview. Don't worry, this is ASCAP's method to roll up that writer's publisher share and add it to their writer account. The work title and writers and publishers section are the only ones you have to fill out. The rest of the form should only be filled out on a song by song basis. If the song has been recorded and you plan on releasing it, fill out the recording artist, sound recording title, ISRC, and release date. If the song is intended for sync licensing through a music library, commercial, or TV ad, fill out the product type and production name. For the songs that I have with a music library, I leave the production name as NA. Once you've entered in all the information, click submit. Registration usually takes a few days. When checking the status of your song, here are the possible outcomes and what they mean. Accepted, your information was accurate and accepted into the system. Conflict, there are issues with the shared percentages. Created by ASCAP, this is any unregistered work that's earning money. This generally doesn't happen a lot. Unidentified party, either a writer IPI or publisher IPI is incorrect. Revised match, when you update the information on a song. Impossible match, this is when a song was previously registered. This will appear a lot if you use an admin publisher like SongTrust or TuneCore Publishing. In order to save some time, here are some tips. You can duplicate a past submission to use as a template if you need to register another song with the same splits and writers. Keep a running database of any collaborator you work with, make sure to note their writer IPI, publisher IPI, and email. If you collaborate with BMI affiliated writers, their IPIs will have a few extra zeros in the beginning. Make sure to remove these if their name isn't showing up. And finally, designate one person to be in charge of registration. Redundant registrations aren't necessary and can lead to payment delays. If you've made it this far, congrats! You registered your first song with ASCAP. Feel free to ask any questions about ASCAP in the comments down below. If you want more music production and music business content, consider subscribing down below. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!